How's it going YouTube? Hi Drax here and in today's video we're going to be discussing what I think the next LF is going to be. Obviously the next LF is going to be released during the Dragon Ball Battle Hour. Apart from Dragon Ball Legends they will be covering uh, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie and I believe a couple of the games as well such as the new Dead by Daylight-esque Dragon Ball game. But obviously we are going to be just talking about the LF unit in Dragon Ball Legends. Uh, we have been getting quite a few buffs recently to the Android tag. As you can see, I've pulled up the Free to Play 21 right here. And then right next to her is the Free to Play Android 18. Heavy girls vibes, heavy female warrior vibes, and heavy Android uh, uh, vibes. Obviously, Android 21 is a Dragon Ball Fighter Z character, a crossover character, and a event exclusive. Uh, obviously, uh, they probably won't really do an LF21. I don't believe they have enough source material from the games to warrant that unless they were willing to reuse animations from the Evil 21 and maybe the Good 21 whereby they convert the existing ultimates and special moves into a uh, legendary finish. Similar to the way that they used the yellow transforming Bojack movie Gohan and then they did a Revival Gohan, which basically improves upon the existing blue card uh, when he goes into his LF and basically adds an extension to that. But anyways, we won't be speaking about that. We will be speaking about what I think could be coming. Obviously, the Android tag has gotten buffs recently, and that is a big indicator of what could be coming. And I've seen a lot of speculation in the community as to what could be coming. And that speculation is a duo unit between Android 17 and 18, um, specifically the future variation of them because the, uh, I believe this is the only time we see them working together in terms of fighting but uh, yes there could be a dual Android LF uh, this could be a very good or very bad thing depending on how they handle the situation because we all know that Goku and Vegeta is the first tag character to release where they are a dual unit and honestly that unit is beyond busted and beyond a very very dangerous unit to go up against and one of the most used units in the game right now on the mono purple team and very 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 annoying to go up against if you don't have them them yourselves but anyways as for what could we see in terms of tags uh, they'll obviously be on the android tag and then the future tag they may be on the powerful opponent tag depending on how uh, Dragon Ball Legends dev team want to handle their tags uh, because in the future saga these guys do categorize themselves as powerful opponents but in the uh, terms of legends these guys never made um, an impact and I don't believe they are on the powerful opponent tag uh, because if they were I believe Android 21 or at least Android 18 would have been on the tag especially with Android 17 because they were powerful opponents uh, maybe not in the traditional aspect against the Saiyans uh, I believe only Vegeta fought them uh, and got washed basically but Trunks as well and then the Z fighters also got pretty much destroyed but uh, in terms of fighting against Goku I don't believe either of these guys ever fought Goku at least until um, Super with uh, the Ranger 17 actually went and fought him so this could be a very clear indication as to maybe they will release a duo android uh, Depending on how they want to perceive the tag system with uh, type exchange, um, these guys could be a exchange unit where they change typings. Honestly, I would not want that for, for these units. Uh, it, it would make androids a lot better than they are right now, but that also introduces the issue of double typings in the meta and what's stopping you from running a completely android team and then chucking Goku and Vegeta on there and basically being perma immune to basically type disadvantage and just doing tons of damage. That is a big issue now, especially with the leader ability. And since Goku and Vegeta are very self-sufficient, this could prove to be a very big issue if they do decide to do um, reverse typing. But if we look at the Android tag as a whole, the tag hasn't gotten buffs in an extremely long time. The last time they got a buff was the Revival Cell back when Margin Vegeta released a very, very, very long time ago. Uh, I believe also these two guys released after him, but honestly you don't see Android 18 at all in this team. Android 17 is a very new-ish addition 
he released last year alongside, I believe it was Android, I think he released with Android 18 on an all-star banner. I can't remember what the LF was, but they released, I think it was Evolution Blue Vegeta released, and then this was the all-star banner where they released alongside him. So these two are the most recent buffs to the team, but if we look at the team itself, the category is very small in terms of Z ability. Uh, as for the Android tag, there is quite a few units, but not many that are very usable in the meta. Uh, we have obviously Cell, Android 17, the new 18, uh, all of these guys in the top row up until I think, um, excluding this guy, I think everybody in the top row is very good, and then these two are very good. The rest of them aren't very good. We have the free-to-play Android 21 being the cornerstone um, blue unit of the team, which I do believe needs to be updated because they have barely any blue units. So if we do see an Android uh, duo unit like this, I would like them to be blue because this team definitely does need a blue. And with the typings going on in um, PvP right now, uh, I do believe blue is a good neutral color to have around, especially considering that uh, apart from that, uh, the team does have a well-rounded set of other typings, such as purple is sorted out, green is sorted out, red is sorted out. The yellow, they have two options. They have the 17 and obviously the queen of the game, Android 18. Uh, people really do underestimate her, but she is still very, very good and can very easily take you down if you're not very careful. Obviously, perfect cell is another purple option, but um, yeah, you need him to be at high stars and he does fall away. If he does not have his, uh, I would say his unique gauge filled up nicely. Uh, obviously, the blue units are very, very weak. Uh, obviously, we have the Zenkai 21. Android 18 is a good unit herself, but doesn't see much playtime because obviously Android 21 does provide a better overall stat uh, spread across in terms of tanking and damage and debuffing, and she does provide death buffs and obviously her unique. Um, buffing style to a female Android region character such as all the other 21s and considering that the Android team right now is mostly female Androids and region based uh, she does have a lot of value over Android 18 but if they do decide to go with a blue Android uh, 17 and 18 I wouldn't be opposed to that because I do believe it is time to retire Android 21 she has had her fun and honestly she is beginning to age to the point where she has just become a stop and swap unit. Uh, similar to how Bardock is, uh, you just stop and swap out of her just to buy time to maybe get your time accounts back or to just uh, refresh buffs and uh, card cost down or, or whatever else she does when she does swap in. Uh, I don't know the specifics but uh, obviously she does lower the special move. For female androids, gives increased damage. I believe she gives key as well. It's been a long time since I've read her kit. But um, apart from androids, there are a few. Well, I'm not gonna say a few. There are two other options that I do think could happen, and that is going to be a basic. Uh, let me just get this out. Uh, this is another one that people have been speculating. They have been thinking of uh, Android 21, and then the lineage of evil tag getting buffs as well, two of the tags in the game that really deserve buffs, uh, but people have been speculating that maybe we will be getting a Tournament of Power, Range of 17 and uh, Angel Golden Freezer. This is a very unique concept, I believe this could happen, but um, if they are going to release this unit, I don't believe many people will summon for this because they most likely will buff Universe Survival Saga and maybe... Um, and maybe powerful opponent because they are, in, well, at least in Dokkan's um, expectation of them, they're both extreme type characters, so maybe they will be a powerful opponent as well because of Golden Freezer. But other than that, I do see them being a Universe Survival Saga. But other than that, I don't really believe that this um, this prediction is well founded, given the buffs that exist. But it could always happen, so do take that with a grain of salt. And then the other unit I want to speak about is going to be a Whis and a, obviously, Beerus. Uh, a duo Whis and Beerus would work really well and would be a very good addition to God Key specifically. Um, obviously, there is the issue of Goku and Vegeta fitting on God Key as well. But I believe God Key is in the position where you could really use a buff to the team. But uh, yeah, a duo unit between Whis and Beerus would be much appreciated considering that we only have a single Beerus character in the game. 
that is actually usable and that is going to be the uh, green Beerus. Obviously if we look at the Beerus character itself, um, there are at least two variations of him. This guy has a Zenkai but you don't really see him at all because the yellow units on Garki are very saturated right now and with much better units. Obviously you got um, obviously you got Gogeta Blue and then the Blue Evolution Vegeta. So this guy is basically irrelevant and if you are going to run a green God Key unit, you're probably going to be running uh, Beerus as a bench unit buffing that green unit. Uh, if we look at the God Key tag specifically, in terms of green units, you only have two really viable options. Maybe three if you include Beerus himself. And that's going to be God of Destruction Topo and then uh, Goku Black Zamasu uh, as well. And then you have Vados. Vados is pretty much irrelevant at this point. Uh, her ability to provide damage and healing is extremely good, but in the meta right now where you're getting one shot by basically these guys, you cannot bring a liability like Vados into the match unless you have some very good mastery and control over the match where she does not get hit at all because she will die in one blue card and that is confirmed to have happened if you have this guy at least four stars, he can basically one-shot this Vados with a blue card. I've seen it happen. I have been on the receiving end of this. It is not a very good feeling. But uh, as for other green units, Topo is decent enough, I suppose. He's practically replaced by Goku Black and Zamasu. But uh, these guys here are, pr are probably the most prominent uh, green god key units right now, apart from this Vegeta who's also going to get a Zenkai soon. But if we look at Whis, Whis has only one card in the entire game and that is going to be the EX version of him. Uh, this guy released in the, uh, I believe it's the first anniversary alongside Goku and uh, uh, Blue Vegeta. And he does have some very good unique abilities where he buffs up the team and he provides extra buffs if you have a Beerus character uh, on the team. So having this Whis uh, maybe make an appearance in a similar fashion could revitalize this god of destruction virus because at this point he's not even worth running as a zenkai bench and he is one of the only lf units that have become completely redundant in the game so it would be very nice to see a brand new virus uh, make its way to the meta uh, obviously uh, i would like to see a hakaishin virus where he basically evaporates zamasu into dust or basically erases him from existence uh, that would be another very good option uh, alongside that we could see a ba basically a new god goku because we do only have two versions of him i believe i don't think there's any other version of him that exists in the game and an lf god goku would be very nice and aesthetically pleasing to a lot of the god key fans out there because if we look at the god key tag itself they have a very solid roster except for one typing and that is going to be red Corrupted Zamasu does have some um, pull in that way, but they definitely need a Zenkai, maybe LF Rose, maybe a Whis Zenkai just to help them out. But uh, if they do decide to go into an LF direction, they could maybe go into the uh, basically the Whis uh, Beerus uh, direction where uh, Beerus uses the Hakai Shin to basically uh, destroy and erase Zamasu from the timeline. And the final. I would say guess and prediction from me is going to be cooler. Uh, this is probably my most out there, uh, actually Beerus and Reese is probably the most out there. This guy is probably my um, second choice as to what they could be releasing. Uh, cooler does have some representation in the game, but if we look at his representation, it's not very good. Uh, the original Final Form Cooler is still very usable, but his ability to tank is uh, waning. He is on his way to be reduced to a stop and uh, uh, well, a stop and swap unit. He is honestly being replaced by the revival freezer, and you only use him on bench if you actually have this freezer. But if you don't have the freezer, he still is a solid option. But if we look at his representation in the game, the only other real versions of him is the purple transforming cooler, the metal cooler is obviously the green, and then the red one and I believe his uh, original form of first form, the green one here and then the sparking uh, green one there. Uh, I don't believe that we will see a metal cooler uh, version of this guy for a very long time because we do have the green one. So a first form transforming into his final form 
cooler would be a very very interesting thing to go for as Eloi has been getting quite a few buffs recently and I would love to see a new cooler because it is about time we do see him. Uh, this cooler here does hold some value in terms of tanking uh, but he does not do any damage and honestly you're not going to be really running him if you have first form freezer or chilled. So seeing a new cooler would definitely spice up the team apart from the original setup which is going to be the usual um, freezer, uh, freezer, freezer and obviously more freezers. So seeing Cooler being on the Lineage of Evil team would definitely be a huge plus. Plus I believe a lot of people really like Cooler as a unit. Apart from the original movies and DBZ Broly, I believe a lot of people like Cooler as their second option. I believe he is a very good villain in his own right and deserves some more representation in the game. But uh, yeah, if they do decide to go into Cooler format, I would like to see what they would do with it. Uh, obviously Cooler does have a lot of his moves and animations in the game already such as his transformation uh, maybe they'll do something crazy where they basically repeat the transformation process with cooler or they just have him in his already final form state who knows what they're gonna do if they do release this version of him but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed today's little prediction video uh, let me know what you think who's gonna be coming down do you really think it's going to be a uh, duo Android unit such as 17 and 18 or do you think it's going to be a completely different unit from what we are expecting because we just got Bardock and honestly anything is up for grabs at this point. Honestly I do believe we should see, uh, in my personal opinion, I do believe we should see some guard key representation and a little bit of buffs because this team is on its way out in terms of uh, usability in the meta. But uh, honestly Androids deserves a new blue unit and I wouldn't be disappointed if they did go with a, a tag Android uh, unit. For this team, I would be very disappointed if they do uh, do the type swapping and uh, type uh, reversal because that would really put a strain on the meta and how fun it is to actually play without these busted characters that can reverse their typings. And then for the final prediction, obviously we have Cooler, so let me know what you think if you think Cooler is going to be a good option and will they release a Cooler. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. My name is Hydrax, I'll catch you in the next one.